So we think that these three, yeah, three as well. Not only do we want to do that, we also want to increase engagement uh, with the mentorship program with the broader OSA community. There are a lot of cool 30-year-olds that participate in OSA in their uh, teens, in their 20s, just like we did. Like Sonny Tripathi, he's a, a rising star in Hollywood, and he's a great mentor for a student that may want to go into comedy. You see all your Hassan Minajs, you see your Aziz Ansaris, but you have already uh, comedians that have the same, well, not the same success, but eventually will get to that level of the same success, and they should be mentors. They should be people that we know about, and just because they don't have the same uh, notoriety, that doesn't mean that they did not face what we faced, and they did. They faced exactly what we did. There were Ordias that participated in OSA, and now they're reaching great levels of success, and we want to increase this program's engagement with those members. Not only do we want to do that, we want to use that as a springboard to start more mentorship programs across OSA. Good question is how should we do that? So we're gonna launch a website, most likely in April, and that'll list the service opportunities that Amon and Arvin talked about, a press page that would highlight OSA members' accomplishments, that you can see how cool the OSA members are, and how really they're just accomplishing so many different things in so many different fields. We'll also show our future events, and some future events will be the barbecue that Angie talked about. Yeah, and jumping back to the website, not everyone's going to visit the website, so what we're hoping to do is send out an annual newsletter that just kind of takes little snippets of um, components that we have on the website. So if that's, you know, Arvin walks us through a day at BC, and you know, from when he starts to when he goes to bed, like that'd be really fun to read and be like, oh, that's funny. Um, just to kind of get into that mindset of what exactly, who are these people, and why should we come to this program and why should we engage and with each other at all? So yeah, going to the barbecue. So we have, we know we have this event usually every January, uh, but we also kind of want to have a fun thing. We don't just have to talk about classes. We don't just have to talk about how you want to be a doctor or an engineer. Um, we can talk about things that you know you, you're passionate about or fun things that you want to do. So what we're thinking about doing is a summer event, um, and that can just be a barbecue or we might do each day, but something like that. Um, where we just kind of get to hang out, which we think is kind of a fundamental basis of this mentorship program. Um, yeah, so real quick, Ricky and I are going to explain, um, I guess it's kind of like a raffle ticket. Nisha actually came up with this. And basically, once you do those types of things for the education system, you get like a raffle ticket. We're gonna do like a virtual one because we don't want tickets everywhere. <laughs> um, and basically, you get different points for doing part of the education component. You also get points for doing the relation component. So As well as the service. Yes, yes. So um, if we're going to set up a question every month, which we have been doing, we started to do, um, and if you reach out to your mentor or mentee with that question and you have correspondence, then you'll get a certain number of points. Um, and then we're going to have a leaderboard up on the website so you can see. And then in September, we're really hoping on announcing the winners of that relation, um, of, the, of the relations prize if you have the most points. And we also, again, we want to do more fun things. We want to make this a genuine friendship, not some artificial, synthetic friendship that has been made by Angie and I. This should be a genuine friendship, bonded in actual friendship. So we're going to do a, uh, exactly, a friendship. Um, so we want to uh, do a secret Santa. Uh, you're not going to get your mentor, but you're going to get someone different. And you're going to think of a uh, uh, gift for them. And obviously, you're going to learn more in turn. And for that secret Santa, since we're not gonna, everyone's gonna be different places, especially the students in college, you're going to be taking vinyls. We'll exchange gifts at this event when we have it in January. That's all we have. All right, guys. Well, thanks to all the chairs for presenting here. We have a really great year planned, and um, participation from you guys is really key, as we said at the beginning. So, really want to make sure. And if you do have any questions or concerns about anything, we are all here to help you out with that. So, feel free to reach out to any of us. So, with that being said, we're now going to start our social outreach program. Where um, I guess Nisha actually kind of coordinated this, so I can have you talk a little bit about it as well. Um, Yeah, raise your hand if that happens. So I don't know if you guys know this, but your heart
hot lunches can also be free or for reduced prices for families or kids in need. Um, so we're working with the New Jersey Hunger Coalition to make snack packs for these kids over the weekends um, where they don't get hot lunch served. Um, so these packs are secretly put into these kids' backpacks um, during the day so they don't know and no one knows who these kids are. Um, and then when they come home from school, they see that there's a snack pack for them to eat over the weekend. So we're going to make 50, 50 snack packs for these kids, um, and they'll be dropped off in these kids' backpacks next week. So we're going to do our social service. Um, so I'm not we'll talk about what exactly will go in each snack pack. All right, so you'll see right here, we have all this food lined up. Unfortunately, this is not for you guys to eat. This is for their snack packs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a Ziploc bag and you can um, you can partner with somebody at your table so you guys can kind of like work through like how to divide and conquer because it is gonna be mayhem. We know that it's, been, it's, a, it's kind of like a tighter space for all of us to go through. So maybe one person sits at your table and like another person goes and gets something to put in um, your bag but you have to go down the line. Basically, each bag should have a juice box, a mac and cheese, soup, a neutral grain bar, cereal, and then a fruit cup and milk. So, so just, just, yeah. All right. And the whole thing is we find somebody that you, you've never spoken to. I'm <laughs> 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 